what against Luton. Oh yeah. Uh, the, the last game three now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I was at the Bruce that game. I was sitting in the West End. I, I think that game was a very very good game. Sterling, he he showed up again. Yeah. You know he, he showed why we paid him the three hundred grand. He obviously he scored a brace. Jackson got his first Premier League goal. Lovely to see. And the midfield as well, with Caicedo in there, I like how he held the ball. There, there was a couple, a couple, you know, few minutes in the game where I thought, you know, uh, you know, they're getting the best of us. But overall in that game, we should be getting the three points. We should have battered them, and we did. And uh, I'm, I'm very happy. And I think this is the start of a good run. Because I'm looking at our next fixtures, I'm going to the bridge against Wimbledon. Then who've we got? We've got Forest. Who've mm-hmm. got? Who've, who've we got after Forest? Can't remember. Can't after remember. The, uh, do you know that it's not getting shown anywhere on TV yet? Is that because it's not sold out? Is it until they sell it out? Can it no, be on TV? No, it's the second round. It's the second round, it's, mate. It's, all oh, right. Yeah, yeah. That's somebody was saying on Twitter today it's no doing for getting televised. Then surely they're going to televise it. Well, even if I'm they didn't sure. televise it, as long as they've got it on the fifth hand, because if it's at home, they usually show it in the fifth stand, don't they? Well, I, I'm anyway, not too sure. no, and uh, definite breaking news. Uh, Fabrizio's gave the old breaking news. Here we go. Uh, Lukaku to Roma. Thank it God. Looks, it looks the Roman Mammoth it's, is gone. Uh, <laughs> it's only a, it's a one year loan, uh, and they're they're covering his salary for ten months. Loan fee uh, higher than five million euros. So it's not a yep. lot of money, but at least we're getting rid of his wages. What do you think? That was so important. That felt that that might be the most important move we make. To be honest with you, because we did not need him in the dressing room. We did not need to reintroduce him into the first team. It's just his mentality. As we talked about his ego before, you bring that into the dressing room and start getting that, giving that to young players, and they th- they start thinking they they have a big ego as well, and they want a certain amount or this or that. Forget about it. Whatever Poch's plans were would have been destroyed before they even started. Because you have to yeah. buy into the system. I, I think the big wages is gone now. They made the mistake when the owners first came in. They flung a bit of cash about. You can see who they're bringing in now. It's like a hundred grand plus incentives. That's how they're rolling. And we'll see what happens before the end of the transfer window. But I can't see them breaking that now. A lot of people have talked about Neymar's and all this carry on. I don't think it's happening uh, indefinite. Would you think? Yeah, no, they're not going to bring any big names. Uh, I don't think for a while. I think... There might be, like I said, I don't think we need to do any more heavy investment. If, if, if you want to get another striker fair, if you want to get another goalkeeper fair, I guess, but I don't think we need it. It doesn't feel like a need. I'm not convinced by Robert Sanchez yet, but it's like until players start messing up and get acquainted, you can't really make those decisions. So I would give them at least a season, as we talked about before, or like say Jackson has to leave for AFCON if you want to bring Tony. I don't I don't know what the situation will be or who we have in mind or if we're just going to rely on Broa. Um, but as soon as we kind of fine-tune some of these things, I think we'll be in a better position. And I think you guys, like you said, you said we're going to build momentum. I think this is the, this is the start of momentum. Because during the Ludentown game, we kind of let them in a little bit. And I was disappointed by that. Um, I want us to dominate them the entire game. Uh, but then until we got that second goal, we just absolutely annihilated them. After that second goal finally went in and we had all those opportunities, it was like finally. It felt like, you know, the, the pressure release on like a, 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 what is it, a pressure cooker. Like you just hit the release because everybody just – the pressure just went away and we started playing just the natural football we're used to. Um, my shout-outs for that match were Gusto, Sterling, and Enzo. I uh, thought they were class – and I'm just happy that we finally got, you know, some more wins at the bridge and more wins in the league. We need this confidence. Right. I know you're going to go away soon. Just rattle through the starting 11 and tell me how you think they played. So, Robert Sanchez, he didn't really have much to do, so he played all he right. That, I'll tell you what, I watched the game twice. Mm-hmm. At 1-0, he had that fantastic save. Oh, yeah, fight. that one-handed and, save, yeah. He just, that put, flick. He, just put, he just put his hand up. That was a fantastic save. That, that's went under the radar a little bit. If that goes one each, you never know. The heads might go down, and we might have lost that game. He, things, that, that's how the tides turn very quickly. 
Um, Desasi, I I think the good thing about Desasi is I didn't notice any like hiccups or mistakes. You know, he didn't make any mistakes. He didn't make a wrong He's move. He's a good passer, isn't he? Do you see how yeah. slick his passing is? Super good. Super, and I, he's progressive too. That's what I like. He's forward. You know, it's, it's not backwards. Forward. Back, yeah, yeah, it's always forward. So it's not just backwards. Tiago felt like a metronome, so he was class. Um, Levi, Levi, Levi. I I don't really think that I noticed Levi too much, but I think that's what I'm saying because I didn't notice these younger players. I think that's a shout out to them that they did well. Um, because I mean. I can't think of like a specific instance where Levi had to do something extreme, but he didn't do anything stupid either. You know, he didn't make any dumb mistakes. So that's good. Gusto, I thought was class. Um, if it wasn't Sterling for man of the match, he would have been my man of the match because of the way he linked up play, got ahead, kind of like Reese uh, and what we need. Um, Enzo, Enzo was class. That that second pass to Ster or no third pass. It was the it was the pass where he tipped it up to himself twice and then sent it forward to Sterling for him to send it to Jackson. That was like Fabregas esque. That was so beautiful. That was that was a beautiful pass. Um that whole that whole sequence was exactly what we want as fans. Um let me see who else. Gallagher. Gallagher's good. He's good. He's improving every match. Yeah, he, he, I, I, he, I, wa I wanted to see this improvement last season, but it didn't come. But this season right. he seems to be improving at a quick rate. Super it's fat. Like, I think Lav I like think match, Lavi's gonna match, have competition. Match on each match, he seems to get a little bit better. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like he's always fighting for the ball, sending things progressive. Um, he could have maybe taken a shot on. I think he he hesitated in one shot, but besides that, I mean, he didn't put he didn't put a, a bad foot forward. Did, uh, did he not take was, a shot and it was straight to the keeper? Maybe oh. he was or he hesitated, and I think he had like an ounce of space, and he passed oh, it right. to the side or something like that for another chance. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but mixed up I, I thought he maybe because he could have long shots, he could have taken the turn. Oh, maybe, maybe I thought it was the one where he faked it, like he was, he, he turned and it looked like he was gonna shoot, and then he just sent it, it to the it, side. It, it might have been um, the game. Maybe before, I was wrong. Maybe I was watching the wrong yeah, game. Yeah, I might be getting mixed up. Oh, with the game yeah. before. So, what did you think about Enzo? There's, maybe there's a lot, there's a little bit of slander coming towards Enzo, and maybe it's a hype for the boy. People are expecting him to be better than what he is, but if you look at his his progressing passes, like top for progressing passes in the league. His, his passes are crazy. Like, if you just know, I've been watching all sequences. I've only watched the game once over, so I probably need to watch it the second time. But some of the passes he was making, even though he may he may have two or three players on him, were so beautiful. That was like, and he was getting to the wings. That's what he's really good at, getting it to whoever's coming forward. So if it's going to be that right wing back, left wing back, he's always looking to the sides or forward. So I'm glad that he's not just turning and passing it back every single time. He's trying to see what play he can make. Um, chill well. I thought he was good. I didn't think he do any, he did anything wrong, and he didn't have too much to do defensively, which helped. He, um, he's getting Raheem, a lot of slander for that. certain people as well, and I don't think he's playing bad. Yeah. Like, there was a criticism when he could have took a shot on, and he never shot. Oh yeah, yeah. That that was that would be my only criticism though. But besides that, he did well. I know he wanted to get Sterling involved, and I think I saw the pass he was gonna make. But yeah, he should have took that shot on. But it's okay. I mean, he's a defender, so. He still has a shot on him, though. You know, he can still shoot. So that's that's always good. And Jackson, so Jackson, about, I think, is our future. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. He's, he, what about Cassie? Though he started off a bit dodgy, he sort of fell over. Did you see that time when he sort of fell over? He sort of, you know, at the start of the game, uh, he sort of got the ball and he sort of fell yeah, over and yeah. he lost the guy. The guy got the ball and it could he, have created he, he a He stumbled problem. over and then the guy took the ball and it was a counterattack. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he made a little mishap there. But then it, it, seemed like it, he, it seemed like he was trying to make up for it for the rest of the match. He's a beast in a tackle. Did you, did you notice how good he is? He's, 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 he's like Canty, but he's heavier in the tackle than Canty. He, he's a bit heavier he's in the time. He, uh, he could win any ball. I really think that. I think, like, in any midfield, that's the type of player that he is. And he, he he's not afraid of anything. Like that, I think it was Tahit Chong or something like that. He's a pretty big boy, and he was fine with them. He was, you know, it wasn't just, it wasn't just like they were just going to take the ball away from him. If he, if he doesn't get the ball, he's still going to fight for it. Maybe a foul or they have to stop or, you know, a free kick. But I like his, I like how busy he is. He's not stagnant. Yeah, I, 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 what I think is he's maybe no got as much mobility as Canty, 
But he, when he tackles, you know he, he's tackled you. Yeah? He seems to be very strong on the ball and he's very skillful. He does little like chop passes and things like you know, there's a lot of talent there because I've not watched a lot of the boy. I've seen a couple of comps, that's about it. But I can see, I can see why we've bought him now. Uh, I don't know if he'll ever be worth 115 million, but he might be the value to the team of that money, especially over 10 years on his prison contract. Would you think? 10 million, yeah, 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 yeah. For 10 million a year, <laughs> he's definitely worth it. <laughs> <laughs> so he's worth it more than well, the woolly mammoth. That's all I can say. That, yeah. Those would be my fi final remarks before I got to go, Mitchie. I do got to go uh, see my dad. Yeah, I, I gave you a bit of time there because you were going, buddy. Uh, so I appreciate last it. thing before you go. It's a pleasure. Uh, 40, 45 players loaned, sold, etc., etc. Possibly still to go. Definitely a Kaku. Here we go with that. Sar. Cho, and I don't know about the other players, but definitely they too. Maybe Angerin, you know, maybe something like that. Maybe Gallagher, right. we don't right. know. Cucurella. Maybe Chalaba, we don't know. So 45 players, that's unprecedented. Eh? We've did well clear out wise. What do you think? 100%. We got rid of all the dead wood, and, you know, we're, we're looking at like all our options now. I'm just glad we got Lukaku out of the dressing room and away from our club. Um, as long as we can do that, I don't know what we have to do next season to just get rid of him. But whatever we have to do, we have to do it. Um, and like Cucurella, I don't know if he's going to move on or not based on a loan or whatever it is. And I'm sure they're going to be looking to sell Trev as soon as possible. But like I said, there are some good players there. there. Maybe there's a player still there in some of them. But we're clearing everything out. And I think once Poch has his lineup and his squad and he knows what it is, I think we're just going to get better and better. Yeah, I'm hoping so because I've seen enough green shoots. I was wanting to say this to Patrick, and I hope he comes back on, uh, Doom. Uh, I, I, I'm liking watching Chelsea at the moment. It's very nice football to watch on the eye. What do you think? No, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. That's what I'm saying. The, if you watch, just I w if any Chelsea fan is doubting this model, go watch the two sequences. The first, uh, the f first Sterling goal against Luton, and then the third goal. Um, from Enzo, I think it was Caicedo to Enzo to uh, to Sterling to Jackson. Just rewatch that whole sequence and then you'll start to have some belief again. I've got the game on the now, but it's hard to watch it when I'm running the show, but I, I will try and watch it whenever, especially when Roger's talking, you know, I can maybe watch a whole half, would you think? <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. I gotta go, right. but uh, I appreciate you. Uh, big up Roger, big up Mitchie, and big up Doom too. Thank Pleasure. you. Doom, Doom will be back on. He seems to glitch out all the time. I'll just go through the chat and then I'll go into Roger. Uh, thanks very much, indefinite Alexander. Good luck with the dentist. And, uh, yeah, yeah. I appreciate it, guys. <laughs> yeah, cheers, buddy. See you later. Uh, so I'll say hi to Chelsea Boy1234, Gabriel A. We have, oh, I missed one. CBR100, big up, pal. Uh, who else we got? Oh, British Patriot, uh, good to see you in here, pal. You're one of my first subscribers back in the day. Eh? It's good to see you in here, pal. Right, Roger, you've got the floor. What do you want to say, pal? No, um, yeah, so you want the, well, the, the match. Listen, you want I, me to thought... bring up the slide? Uh, yeah, no actually, I, I want to talk about Sanchez briefly. Yeah. I yeah. thought he did very well. He's, I was concentrating more on, it, on his positioning, his footwork, and his distribution. And I thought his distribution was excellent, especially the mid to long range passes. I thought they were excellent. Um, he was never flustered or anything. I thought he had a solid game distribution-wise. Listen, I'm not a big fan of his, but it's incumbent upon me. You have to be neutral. You have to be unbiased. And listen, you know, like, for instance... Um, What's his name? Um, bloody um, the person I can't stand the most. I've gone brain dead. I forgot his name. Who are you talking um, about? Sterling. I'm not a big oh, fan Sterling. of Sterling, but you have to give him kudos when it's warranted. Um, but yeah, Sanchez, I thought, did very well. Um, so I want... <laughs> you just spotted it. Donkey. Yeah, I just looked, hey, donkey. I was looking at a spreadsheet. Sorry. So I want to tell you something about Chilwell. In the first half, he had possession of the ball 11 times. He passed back eight. He he passed laterally once. He tried to cross the ball once, but it was blocked, and he successfully crossed the ball once. So eight out of 11 possessions, he passed back. Uh, I thought it was quite telling. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. You, so, you remember I was criticizing, criticizing Shalaba for the same thing? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, it's noticeable be... when players never play the ball forward, isn't it? Yeah. And now, now you know what? It, he could be instructed to do so. This could be his instructions. So it could be a little bit premature of me to critique him in that fashion. However, when I've seen other players come on um, for him, they don't like Hall. Hall just progresses the ball forward. Do you understand? That's, um, listen, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not his biggest fan, but I thought, the, I thought the team played quite well. I was a bit concerned, though, with how, how we didn't put, stamp authority on the game. This could have easily been 1-1. And then things can change. You know, get goals change games, and and that's what. Yeah, I, the score is fitting, but we should have we should have crushed them more. Listen, this is early days, so I'm being a bit steep on them. You see what I'm saying? But I, I believe I was hoping for for being more clinical. And listen, our, our xG was excellent; it was two point two seven, so that's great. But I was hoping for us to be. Should we see? Listen, and when the second half, that like the last 15, 20 minutes of the first half and the first 15 minutes of the second half, we did not play well. We played to the level of our opponents, to be honest with you. Um, that's my only critique of Chelsea as a whole. I, I thought Enzo, I, I'll tell you who really impressed me. It was um, Colwell's pass. He, in the first half, he made a pass to, I think it was Jackson. Beautiful long ball. Do, do you remember that curve pass that he made? Yeah, and that was that was the pass of the game, in my opinion. I thought it was nothing came of it, but the, it was just perfectly weighted. It was a thing of beauty. Um, yeah, and, and um, what's his name? Um, Caicedo. Yeah, he 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 lost balance. He was putting too much weight going forward, and that was a bit disconcerting, but nothing came of it. But you, I thought he did well. You know when that happens, Roger? That happens when you're not 100% fit. Because yeah. I've had that before when you've not played football for a while and then you go sure. to run and your legs just go away for you. Yeah, or the speed, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're not gay, yeah. You're not match fit, so to speak. Or yeah. well, When I say physically fit, um, or maybe it's match ready, however you want to term it, you know, where your brain maybe is a, working a bit slower than what's actually happening. So, yeah. Um, but I, I thought, did, did any player stand out for you? At, or did? By the way, um, I just want to say one thing before I ask you this question. It's, you know, um, we talked about, um, what's his name? Sterling. He, he only had five dribbles and he, he was only successful in two out of five. But it seemed like a lot more. But anyway, he did play well, I must admit. I, I thought... He deserved man of the match, not because of his scoring, but just the way he approached it. He seems like a different player. So does Gallagher. Um, I, I just think every player is getting progressively better. I thought I Cal Colwell was good at passing. He, he, he took the ball and he ran with it and he passed it off. I just see all the players getting slightly better each game. I see things starting to get a little bit slicker, the way we're linking up. And the negative play like you're talking about, I think it's only Chile that's doing that. Yeah, I can't for the remember. Most part. There, is, there is times, Roger, where it is appropriate to not play the ball forward. So let's get yeah, that no, right no. as well. Yeah, yeah, no. when, when he's, you've got a caveat, when he's getting the ball, it might not be appropriate to play the ball forward, right? It that's might not be on. Point. Right, Valid but point. then again, it's it's if your body is not open, you're never going to turn with the ball. So if you've got your back to their goal, you're never going to play the ball forward, you know. And I've seen I've seen Pochettino coaching people to have your body open so that you can receive the ball and you've got that option.